equivalent fractions are fractions that have equal value even though they're divided into a different number of parts. How do we make an equivalent fraction? To make an equivalent fraction, you need to multiply or divide both the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Here we have three quarters. We can pick any number to multiply by. In this case, we're going to pick three. So we're going to multiply our denominator by three, and whatever we do to the bottom, we need to do to the top. So we're going to multiply our numerator by three. Three times three gives us nine. Now we do our bottom row. Four times three gives us 12. So our new equivalent fraction is nine over 12, or nine twelfths. You can see in the picture the same area is shaded. Now we have four fifths. We're going to multiply by two, both the bottom and the top. Four times two gives us eight, and five times two gives us 10. Our equivalent fraction is eight tenths. You can see in this picture, four fifths and eight tenths, they have the same amount shaded, so they are equivalent and are worth the same amount. We're gonna work through a few examples now. So five over 10, or five tenths, we're gonna multiply by two. You can multiply by anything, but I'm picking two for this example. So five times two, gives us 10 across the top, and 10 times two gives us 20. So 10 over 20 or 10 twentieths is an equivalent fraction to five over 10. We're going to do eight over nine now, or eight ninths. We're going to multiply this one by 10. So we're gonna multiply the bottom by 10, and whatever you do the bottom, you need to do the top. Eight times 10 gives us 80, and nine times 10 gives us 90. So 80 over 90 is the equivalent to eight ninths. We're gonna now do three sevenths. We're gonna multiply this by two. So whatever you do the bottom, you do the top. Three times two gives us six, and seven times two gives us 14. So six fourteenths is equivalent to three sevenths. Simplifying or reducing fractions. I'm going to show you how to use division to make a simple equivalent fraction. To do this, you need to find a common factor that can be divided by both the numerator and the denominator. If the numerator and the denominator are both even numbers, we know that a common factor is always going to be two. So 12 over 14, we know that we're going to divide that by two. So whatever you do the bottom, you do the top. 12 divided by two gives us six and 14 divided by two gives us seven. So six over seven is equivalent to 12 fourteenths. We're gonna do 75 over 100. Now we're going to divide 75 and 100 by 25. Whatever you do the bottom, you must do to the top. How many times does 25 go into 75? It goes in three. How many times does 25 go into 100? It goes in four. So three quarters is equivalent to 75 over 100. 10 over 40, we're gonna divide by 10. So how many times does 10 go into 10? It goes in once. How many times does 10 go into 40? Four. So one quarter is equivalent to 10 over 40. So that's an easy way to make equivalent fractions. You can either divide by something that fits into both the top and the bottom, or you can multiply by any number to give us an equivalent fraction.